All right, thanks. Enjoy. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Professional Science Discovers the Earth is Alive. Okay, I paraphrased that a bit and nutshelled it into the right honey space. NASA's Themis discovers new process that protects Earth from space weather. March 6, 2014. Man, the space weather news is coming fast. High and tight. In the giant system that connects Earth to the sun, one key event happens over and over. Solar material streams towards Earth, and the giant magnetic bubble around Earth, the magnetosphere, helps keep it at bay. The parameters, however, change. The particles streaming in could be from the constant solar wind, or perhaps from a giant cloud erupting off the sun, called a coronal mass ejection, or CME. Sometimes the configuration is such that the magnetosphere blocks almost all the material. Other times, the connection is long and strong, baby, allowing much material in. Understanding just what circumstances lead to what results is a key part of protecting our orbiting spacecraft from the effects of such space weather. Now, for the first time, a study shows that in certain circumstances, a pool of dense particles normally circling Earth deep inside the magnetosphere can extend a long arm out to meet, punch, and block incoming solar material. You hear that? The Earth has an arm and it can punch shit. That is cool, man. Imagine it's always just doing it in self-defense. It's not being mean to the solar material, I wouldn't think. But I don't know, I wonder if they have solar system lawyers. You know, like, Venus loves to litigate, and so maybe she'll sue on behalf of... Okay, that joke is stupid. I'll end it now. In the March 6th, 2014, issue of Science Express, where you get your science really fast. Kinda like Chicken Express. Chicken and Science Express. You'd have everything if you got fried chicken and science. Well, they serve beer at Chicken and Science Express, right? Walsh and his colleagues compared observations from the ground and in space during a solar storm on January 17th, 2013. It's like what you might do if a monster tried to break in your house. You'd stack furniture up against the front door. First of all, why? One crowbar is just as good as a bunch of furniture if you know how to use it, right? And that's close to what the Earth is doing here, said Brian Walsh a space scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. The material that is usually much near, nearer Earth stacks up against the outer boundary of the magnetosphere, throttling the interaction there and stopping solar material from entering. Man, the Earth is alive. That is so cool. The Earth is alive. I knew that. Of course the Earth has feelings. All you gotta do is pay attention to her, talk to her. Same with the moon and the sun. They love you, they care about you. They've watched you since you were born. Nope, don't let your smartphone hear that. It gets very jealous of the planets. Closer to Earth, scientists could also study the sphere of cold, dense gas at the very top of our atmosphere. This region is called the plasma sphere, and it's made of what is known as plasma, a gas made of charged particles. This tongue of the plasma sphere surges out, adding another layer of protection, curbing the magnetic reconnection. Celestial mechanics always being sexual. Saying Mother Earth with her right arm and her tongue can handle any problem that comes her way. Earth is alive, people. All right, let's go celebrate. Somebody bake a cake. I just bought cookie dough. Science discovers Earth is alive and has feelings. Hey, I would say wanting to survive is a feeling and an instinct. Earth is totally throwing punches to keep us alive and herself safe. She's protecting us while we're doing the opposite of protecting her. She's perfect, I tell you. I love you, Mother Earth. She's perfect, I tell you. You got everything if you got fried chicken and science. 